Member for Wright. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I want to take this opportunity to add my voice to the many voices of reasons that are calling for a rethink when it comes to renewable energy subsidies or imposed market regulations by me mechanisms like the mandatory renewable energy target for the proposed clean energy target. It's time that we stop and we had a critical look at this and what's being achieved. At this time, it's time we had a frank discussion. It's time we acted in a practical way rather than an ideological way. The bottom line is that people are hurting, household energy costs keep on increasing, and they've more than doubled when Labor was in government, and unfortunately they've continued to rise. This summer we're facing blackouts and forced power rationing. A national grid is not even secure. This is madness that a country as resource-rich as ours is in this predicament. It makes no sense for Australia to be closing down coal-fired power stations while hundreds are being opened up around the world, uh, many of which operate on our coal, Mr Speaker. It astounds me that both state Labor in Queensland and the federal government are so in lockstep with the Greens that they continue to push higher renewable energy targets to 50 per cent by the years 2030. It's a bad policy and it will hurt our consumers. I believe we urgently need to rethink the ideology that has led us down this path, and I want to re reassure my constituents that I'll be pushing for in this debate. Can I also just acknowledge that in my electorate, Mr Speaker, that I have in Australia the highest amount of solar panel uptake of any electorate in the country. They do that not because they're conscious of the environment, Mr Speaker, but they're conscious about price point in their household budget. Uh, we need as a government to work in that space and I look forward to working towards an outcome.